Hi guys! So today I wanted to share with you my coupon binder. It's one of the miniature binders from the Martha Stewart collection of Staples. And I got it in the teal color because that's my preference. I think they also make it in red as well. Um, I'd say I've had it for at least a year and a half, if not longer, and it's held up really well. There's just a small little split down here in the corner. But other than that, it looks pretty much brand new. Um, I'll just give a little overview before I go into more detail. These page protectors are also from the Martha Stewart collection. Um, they just have a little flap up top to keep the coupons in or whatever you stick in there. And then it's just like the baseball card size pockets. Um, so I just got a few packs of those to stick in here. I think these were actually on clearance when I got them. I think they were getting rid of the color, but I believe they still have the same style. Um, and these have held up really well too. Uh, there's a few of them that have torn just a little bit. Um, you probably can't even see that. But that's just because these are the pockets that I always have way too many coupons in. And so, you know, you can't blame it. I'm overusing the product, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's just the overview. And let's start with this folder. So originally, when I first started making this binder, um, I was only going to put the coupons that I was going to use on that particular shopping strip in this folder. But since then, it's turned into a Target coupon folder and my grocery store coupon folder. So those are the two grocery stores I shop at, King Supers and Safeway. Um, and then I have my Target coupons right in front of those. And this is just a, a Project Life card. I don't really like the design, so I stuck it in here. And so it goes on top of my Target coupons. And now whenever I get the product I'm going to buy and put it in my cart, then I put the coupon on top of this. So that I have all of my coupons in one safe spot together. Like, I don't trust putting my coupons in the cart for some reason. I feel like they'll fall out. And I don't know. I'm just kind of scared of that. So I have all of my coupons, my Target coupons, stacked up here. And then in the King Supers envelope, I have my special King Supers coupons. So I'm a member of Buzz Agent, and they will send me coupons for free products every so often. So I have some coupons for Silk from them. And then these coupons come from King Supers in the mail. Um, I just have to make sure my address was put on my loyalty card and then I started receiving those coupons and they have some good ones in there too. I, they send me ones for free products um, every so often. But let's see. And then I usually don't have many Safeway coupons so this one's usually empty. Yeah it's empty right now but it's nice to have you know just in case I get some like some Catalinas or something I have a good place for them to go. So that's what's in that pocket. Um, then we go to the next page. All of my free product coupons are right here. So after the free stuff, which is the most important, so that's why it goes in the front, um, I kind of have it separated into categories, but I don't have dividers or anything like that just because I don't think it's necessary. Um, it's pretty easy to find what I'm looking for in here because there's not, there's not too many pages. It's not like one of those humongous coupon binders with thousands of coupons in it. I don't go that crazy. Like, I usually get two newspapers a week, if that. Sometimes if there's only one insert and no big coupons, I won't get any newspapers that week. So going back to the food, the food is in alphabetical order. And then it's also into categories. So, for example, the first category is baking. And then under that, I have, like, chocolate chips, baking mixes oil, sugar, and then miscellaneous baking, which is also where I keep my spice coupons. Um, and then after that we have the breakfast category, and all of the canned categories, condiments. And then this one, I think it used to be used for something else, um, but a few months ago we got a coffee pot. So I made this one into the coffee section. So creamer and coffee coupons go in here and then we move on to the frozen foods, meat, refrigerated, snacks, 
And then we have starches, dog food, and then it goes into the cleaning categories. Um, so I have it split up into air freshener and candles. Um, just to make it easier because sometimes this this pocket gets overflowing if I were to put all of them together. So I separated those two. And more cleaning. And then we have the paper sections. Um, for the kitchen I have two different pockets. Um, one of them is for trash bags and paper towels. And then the next one is for more like Ziploc bags and aluminum foil and stuff like that. And then we move on to the personal hygiene. Um, this one, this pocket is split a little bit, and that's because I always have way too many coupons in the lotion and deodorant pockets. But we smell good and we have hydrated skin because of it. And then for the face category, I put the face lotion and wash in the same one. And then for the oral care, I have it split up into brushes, paste, and then mouthwash and floss goes into a separate one. And then these are my makeup pockets. Um, it's CoverGirl, Revlon, and then L'Oreal and Rimmel usually go in this one. I ran out of labels for my label maker on these back ones. And then this is just a mixture of eye care vitamins and then it's usually pain medicine in this one. And that's it for the main part. And then in this pocket here, I have all of my commissary coupons. My husband's in the Air Force, so I'm able to shop at the commissary. So they have their own special coupons that can only be used there. So I always make sure to grab a few of them whenever they have them because they disappear quick. And I always use them. Um, and then let's see. And then these are some more coupons from the Buzz Agent program. $4 off of insoles. So you guys should definitely check that program out. Just sign up for it. Do a few surveys telling about yourself. And then they will send you emails with offers. And you can accept them. And then you just review the product and stuff like that. So it's a pretty good program. I like it. Um, so that's it for my binder tour. The only thing I'm not completely happy about is how I store my Target and Commissary coupons. Sometimes it can take a bit of time to find which coupon I'm looking for. Um, so if you have any suggestions on how to improve that, I'd love to hear it.